Are we like Neo, experiencing reality through a matrix-like computer simulation made by more developed, perhaps post-human, beings? Hello and welcome to our channel, Amuse Top 10. We're here to point you in the right direction to find the most up-to-date top 10 lists. If you are new to our channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to receive notifications whenever our channel is up with another video. Presumably, it isn't all science fiction. Our world might not be as authentic as we believe it to be, according to an increasing number of philosophers, scientists, and thinkers. Therefore, in this video, Top 10 Binge explores the rationale for why simulation theory may contain all the answers. Here are top 5 signs that prove that we live in a simulation. Number 5. Realistic Appearing Video Games Elon Musk is a supporter of Nick Bostrom's simulation hypothesis, which holds that if humanity can survive long enough to develop the technology necessary to run convincing simulations of reality, it will do so in large numbers, leading to a large number of simulated realities and only one base reality. According to this theory, it is statistically more likely that we are currently living in a simulation. The coolness of modern video games, in Musk's opinion, is additional evidence that we actually live in the matrix. Number 4. Computer Virus Containing DNA A multidisciplinary team of researchers at the University of Washington demonstrated in 2017 that it was possible to incorporate malicious computer code into actual DNA strands. They wanted to demonstrate how easily hackers could compromise computers used for gene sequencing. However, they might also have unintentionally exposed the fact that what we mistakenly believed to be biological reality was actually computer code all along. Number 3. An Electron's Inability to Decide In the well-known double-slit experiment in physics, electrons are fired through slits in a copper plate at a photosensitive screen, typically resulting in an interference pattern that denotes wave-like behavior. But when the same experiment is conducted under observation, electrons behave like particles, not waves, and there's no interference pattern. Some have interpreted this to mean that our simulation is using resources sparingly and only rendering certain objects when we are actively looking at them. Number 2. Missing Aliens After spending billions on sending probes through space, surely by now we would have discovered proof of extraterrestrial life. Oh wait! According to this theory, aliens are more technologically advanced than we are. So the fact that we haven't found them suggests that they have found a way to leave the simulation from which we inhabit. Or, perhaps the machine we're in can only simulate one planetary civilization at a time because of its RAM limitations. If you are liking the video so far, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. That said, let's now take a look at the top sign which proves that we all live in a simulation. Number 1. The Mandela Effect Despite the fact that Nelson Mandela passed away in 2013, some people insist they remember the television coverage of his passing in the 1980s. Therefore, the Mandela Effect is purported evidence that whoever is in charge of our simulation is altering history. Alternately, this could be proof that there are parallel universes and that some people have traveled from one, where Mandela died in the 1980s, to ours, where he lived until age 95. Other instances of this phenomenon include people remembering that the name of the Berenstain Bears children's book series was spelled Berenstain and that Shazam, a fictional 1990s film starring comedian Sinbad as a Ginny, never existed. The likelihood that we're living in a simulation has previously been estimated at 50% by well-known scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson. But in the end, it might be impossible to establish either stance. Even then, a fervent supporter of simulation theory might counter that any evidence against their theory could have been generated artificially. The real trick might be to simply stop stressing about it and to take pleasure in the world we do inhabit, whether or not it is a reality-altering, existence-chattering matrix. What do you guys think? Are we all really living in a simulation? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you found the video interesting, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We will see you soon in yet another video. Until then, take care.